ChatGPT can write 500 word blog posts in less than 60 seconds. What does Google say about AI generated content? And is Google going to disappear completely and will we all be out of jobs? I definitely think we should touch base on all three of these in this video and I'll share my thoughts. And if we haven't met yet, I'm Brooks. I think we should be ditching the nine to five, building income streams so that we can spend more time with those we love. So let's actually start with the job situation. Yes, I do think that potentially up to half of people as we know it will lose what we know as our current jobs. But let's save that conversation for another day. Let's talk about Google. Is Google over? I thought about this myself and I actually made a video on it. So I'll put that down in the description and you can watch that for yourself. That thought crossed my mind. Then I learned about Palm. And then it dawned on me, it makes total sense. Of course they have this tech. They're Google. They've had the tech for a long time. We're just now seeing it for the first time as, as users of the tech, right? Of course, Google's like a, a multi-billion dollar company putting billions of dollars into AI. Okay, so what does Google currently say about AI content? Content that's auto-generated? You can't use it, right? Well, not so fast. Let's have a look at their spam policy. We'll actually look at it together. And I want you to draw your own conclusions. Here we are in Google's current policies. I think the most important part to go to will be the spammy automatically generated content. And I look through this word for word and you can pause. You can look at this. I'll add a link to this down below as well. But not once does this say AI or any content that's automatically generated, but it does talk about content that doesn't make sense, content that doesn't add value, content that doesn't have a great user experience, scraping content, automating thing, trying to, you know, the same stuff, right? The same things that it's always talked about. Now, I thought this tweet was really interesting from a, one of the big guys at Google. I looked at the guy and I said, oh, okay, cool. If this guy says this, this makes sense. Quick update. So a few more thoughts on what that guy said before we move on. He's also not saying the AI content is good. He's just saying it's not bad. I think he's saying if I were to read between the lines something about maybe AI is a tool, just like we use tools every day for different things. All right, let's carry on. I'm going to create a post for you guys. So should we be pumping out thousand word blog post with chat GPT? It looks like it gave up. It just gave up. I should ask it to keep going. Oh, here we go. Go, go, go. Plus three. Write a thousand words. There we have it. So should you be using chat GPT like this? Probably not. But I will say it's very interesting today that we can all have a robot sidekick to help us be more creative, thoughtful, help with titles, help us write a base form of content maybe that we can build from with some basic facts that we can then build out to make it our own. I, I think these possibilities are really interesting. Another question I have is Google's job is to serve the best content for a reader to help them, to help serve, give them an answer, some information to review that's great, good information. What happens if and when these tools, the computers can do it better than we can as humans? I think more than ever, it's going to be important to have your own voice, to have your own brand, to have your own personal insight into topics and add your flavor to it that people I think are going to, are going to crave. But as of today, the beginning of 2023, I would strongly urge you not to get that thing to write full blog post. Definitely do not encourage that. In fact, I don't think you're going to have good content even. Uh, you're just going to have par content as it stands today. But for sure, I'm taking my titles and saying, hey, hey, Mac, give me some other title options compared to this. Hey, can you write me a meta description that's in this number of characters or less? And this thing is good, like really good. So eventually, I'm probably going to be working for old Mac. But until the AI takes over and I'm working for Mac, I'm going to keep running my show. See ya.